Hello, Dragon Warriors. It's Tamara here, Chief Dragon Officer at the Dragon Academy, the place where we study movements in order to develop our mindfulness skills. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is mindfulness? Now, if you prefer to read, you can buy my book available on Amazon called What is Mindfulness? But I'm going to just give a few quick definitions here that can maybe get you starting to think about whether mindfulness is something that you might want to explore for your life or perhaps dive deeper and try to do some mindfulness training. So one of the things that really surprised me when I first got into this area of mindfulness is just how tricky it is to define mindfulness. And one of the students and a dear collaborator of mine, Dr. Tiago Tatton, as part of his PhD thesis, he did a big review and discovered that there's more than 94 definitions of mindfulness currently circulating around in the mindfulness world. And that's because there are contemplative traditions who are defining mindfulness in various ways. Their teachings are often in languages such as Sanskrit, and so then there's a whole big squabble with the translators about how we take words from one language and put them into another language and still hold the same meaning. Then there's a bunch of cognitive neuroscientists that got all excited about the brain and mindfulness and this dialogue between the East and the West. And they brought their own lenses and their own language to try to define mindfulness. And the psychologists got in there as well. And they were bringing their biases and their language from the psychological therapies in order to try to make sense of what is this thing called mindfulness. So for me, the quickest definition that I can give you is that mindfulness is a state where we bring care plus attention to whatever it is we're doing. And there's a why we're doing that because we want to prevent future harm. Care plus attention in what we're doing now in order to prevent or mitigate, minimize future harm. So see maybe where that might apply in your life. And certainly my own journey, my own story is that I was very careless and totally distractive and inattentive and often getting myself in lots and lots of trouble. Uh, that's because I've got a mind that works in a certain kind of way. And so being thoughtless and careless and distracted and inattentive was kind of my signature. And it's through the study of body movements, mental movements, and emotional movements that I've managed to bring mindfulness into my own life in order that now I try as best I can as I go through the world, as I interact with people to move with care and attention to prevent future harm. So that's just one of the definitions and click on the next video and I'm gonna share with you a functional definition of mindfulness because that's also been something that's been really helpful when I got a bit stuck with my mindfulness practice and I was feeling a bit down and like I couldn't do it and it was too hard and I couldn't be bothered and my brain didn't work like that. And then the functional definition of mindfulness was something that really spurred me on and it might be helpful for you as well.